Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science. In this video, let's go over how to add in scientific notation. Okay, so rule number one is in order to add, the two exponents need to be the same. So this one is pretty straightforward because you don't have to do anything because both of the exponents are to the fourth. So I just go ahead and add them um, and the exponent stays the same. So uh, this becomes a 4, this becomes a 12. So it's 12.4 times, uh, excuse me, 10 to the 4th. Now, I do have this because there's another rule. The, the first number needs to, between, needs to be between 0 and 10. So what I need to do is move the decimal place one place to the left. And here's the first rule. As the number gets smaller, the decimal, the exponent gets larger. And as the number gets larger, the exponent gets smaller. So since the number is actually getting smaller, I will move it one place to the left so it becomes 1.24 and then I add 1 to the 4 because I moved it one place so it becomes 10 to the 5th. Okay, so there is the first problem. Now let's work this next one and um, see what happens here. Now you notice that the exponents are not the same. So what I can do is I can either, uh, this number can either get larger and I can subtract one from the four or this number can get smaller and I can add one. So what I think I'll do is get 5.1 a little bit smaller. So I'm going to write 6.3 times, I'm going to move this over here because it makes the math a little easier. And then I'm going to move the decimal place one to the left, which means it's going to get smaller. So that's 5.1, let me add a zero here. And that means I'm going to add 1 to 10 to the 3rd, so that becomes 10 to the 4th. And now I just add them, that becomes 1, this becomes 8, and this becomes 6.81. The first number is between 0 and 10, so I can keep it 10 to the 4th. So, there we go. Let's work on another one. Okay, let's look at this other one. I know that technically it's not incorrect scientific uh, notation form, but let's go with it anyway to prove a point. Okay, so in this one, uh, I can either um, make the 34 smaller, and nope, I can't do that. So I think what I'll do with this one is I'm going to go ahead and um, the easiest thing to do is to add 1 to the 2 to make it 3, so that means the 8.1 will get smaller. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to write 34 times 10 to the third. I'm going to move the decimal one place to the left, which means I can add one. So that will become to the third. Okay. So this is a zero and zero. And so I put this right here. Okay. This is now 10 to the third. I am adding. So I just go straight down. We have one. We have eight. We have point. Uh, 3, 4, and it's now 10 to the 3rd. Uh, the first number is not between 0 and 10, so I need to move it one place to the left, which means this is going to get larger, so it becomes 3.481 times 10 to the 4th. Okay, and finally, let's look at this last one. Um, I put this one here because we actually have to move it two places. I think what I'll do on this one is I'm going to subtract 2 from the 10 to the 5th, which means I'm going to move the decimal in this direction, which means we're going to subtract because the number is getting larger. So I'm going to rewrite this as 570 times 10 to the 3rd because I moved the decimal two places, which means I subtract 2 from the 5. That's a terrible multiplication. And now I'm going to put a 0, 0, and now we have... Um, okay, so now let's place 8.1. Okay, I don't need that. And that will also be 10 to the third. Okay, when I add this, this is 1. Remember the decimal, this is 8, 7. 578.1 times 10 to the third. Now remember, this number is not between 0 and 10, so I need to move the decimal two places to the left, which means the exponent will get larger, so that becomes 5.781 times 10 to the fifth, because I moved the decimal places 
two places to the left, which means the three will add two to that, and that equals five. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.